Hi there, Josh here today with Evergreen Tutorials here to tell you about the Workday function in Excel 2016. Now the Workday function, it starts with a start date, so give it a date and then give it some days and it will tell you what is the end of that period, excluding the weekends, excluding the holidays, and so basically if you have a project that takes 10 days, it will show you the end date of it. A couple valid inputs of the Workday function are any formatted date so all of these are the today function you can see there and it will accept a string date so a date that you would normally type in but it has to be in quotes if you put it in without quotes it will still accept it but you will get the wrong data and it will accept any function that returns to you a formatted date moving on here i have set up an example here so workday is best buds with project management here i have classic project management question it's going to say it requires 50 working days. So I'm just going to assume we're starting today and 50 days comma holidays. So what days am I going to take off? Well, hold, let me select that here. I'm going to select this list and it's going to look at all those dates. And now remember when you do this, don't select the whole thing because it will try to look at that and be like, that's not a date and it'll get very angry at you. So with your dates array selected and your right parenthesis and press enter and it spits us to 43,202 not quite a date if you ask me you'll have to format that so go to number formats short date and I can see that the end time for this project should be 4 12 2018 and I can see what would happen here if I decided I wanted to work through all the holidays I can just omit that and it will return me an earlier date there say I'm no longer going to recognize Columbus Day as a holiday I can take that out and the function will still it'll still do its dig I can still I can even reference a whole list of blank cells and it will do that so comma date and we can see that it acknowledges all of that even though it's blank so maybe I want to put in Valentine's Day so oh, two 14 2018 and we can see how it changes over there the workday function it will return to you a date after the current date so down here I was using today what it's actually calculating for is tomorrow saying I start my project tomorrow it doesn't really factor in for today because it's looking for you know how many whole whole days do we have to work on our project up here I want to just give an example of that um, so I put in the network days. So the network days function is just like, here's your two dates. What's, you know, what's the difference here? And, and I even put in my holidays in on that one. So what I'm going to do is put in work day, start date, um, this one up here, comma, how many days, this, comma, holiday array, enter, and I get the day after my end date here so just keep that in mind if you're ever using the workday function know that it adds one to whatever date you have you put into it earlier you might have noticed that I had a number come out that looked like 43,000 well that's actually the serial number in Excel the serial number is just the days after January 1st 1900 Excel has to have a frame of reference to be able to do math on dates so in the workday function example we're adding 50 days to something we have to be able to put that into a number format and Excel will look at a day and think it's 43,131 I can add 50 to that but up here for all these slashes and all that the adding 50 to it doesn't really make sense so that's just an example of the workday function if you ever run into that which inevitably you will format it as a short date or even a long date if you want to i'm josh here with evergreen tutorials and we went over the workday function in excel 2016 if you have any questions leave a comment below i'll try to get back to you if you like this video please subscribe for other videos we release new videos daily 